Hi folks, Ann here at Arts and Glass. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Uh, while the studio is shut down, this gives me a chance to kind of come in here and work on some stuff behind the scenes. Uh, before we opened, I actually used to do a lot of craft shows. I'd make glass pieces and sell them there and online. Since we opened up the studio, I haven't had a lot of time to get creative and do that again. So that's one nice thing about this. I get to work on that. Uh, if you know me, you'll know I love gnomes. You might see them in various pieces around the studio. And they're one of my favorite things to make in glass. So I'm gonna walk you through how to make my signature gnome design. And I have a surprise project for you to work on at home at the end of the video. Uh, so before I was scoring all my glass pieces, so I'm gonna show you how I break those apart and assemble a little gnome for the garden. Get my safety glasses on. So first I'm gonna cut the jacket apart. I love this color. It's called peacock green. And it's actually the same color we have on the walls here. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Um, the jacket comes in two parts. I'm gonna break off these little pieces that I don't need for them. Cut them into this bowl here because there's no wasting glass fusing. Cut these little bases off too. And I'm gonna assemble these on this clear base that I cut to hold everything together. Got his jacket. Give him some pants. Everyone's gotta wear pants. Pants on. Give him boots, because if he's walking around the garden, he needs something on his feet. Toddler will tell you otherwise, though. His boots on. We'll give him some hair. He's gonna have kind of whitish hair. This is an ivory color of the glass. Put that on there. I like to give my gnomes beards too, so we're gonna have a nice long beard. Hasn't been to the hair salon recently, but who has now? And he's got to wear a hat. Yeah, to top it off with a good hat. I like lime green, so that's the color I'm going to use for it. And we'll give him a face too. Where are my face pieces? Here we go. Because, you know, he needs a face. And at the end of this, I'll probably use a little bit of glass paint just to give him cute little eyes. Um, my gnomes don't usually have mouths. They're usually kind of covered by their beards. And I'm gonna glue all the pieces down. Uh, as you might know if you've done glass at Arts and Glass before, we use tiny pinpoints of glue just to hold everything together between our work surface and the kiln. It doesn't have to go very far, but it's gotta to stay together. So I'm gonna put a couple pinpoints on his hat. Line that up there. Glue down his hair. And his face. You don't want that shifting around. Unless it's gonna be like a Picasso gnome. I don't know. Here. Glue down his jacket. And the bottom part of the jacket. Pants and boots. beard. Forgot. Here. And since we're going to make this into a garden stake, I want it to be really strong on the bottom so I can kind of dig into the soil a little bit. I have an extra piece of clear glass that I'm going to put down at the bottom here. So I'm going to dab some glue on for that. And I'll be very excited to see this when it comes out of the kiln in a day or so. Uh, so that's how I make my little gnomes. Uh, I'll add a couple of finishing touches to it. Probably give them a bell and a buckle, and like I said before, those eyes. Uh, but like I said, I have a surprise for you guys to do at home. Um, so at this point, everyone might be a little tired of watching screens, whether you're going to Zoom meetings or doing the school from home. So this is a project that you can print out and take somewhere <laughs> at your house, probably. You can even take it outside. 
so it is a make your own arts and glass paper gnome. So I went ahead and turned the pattern that I used for my glass gnomes into a pattern for you to cut out pieces of paper to build your own gnome. So even though you can't do the glass right now, we're gonna make it out of paper. Um, the second page of this has all the patterns for making both my gentleman and lady gnome. You can cut out on the dotted lines all the shapes and then you can use any kind of paper you have at home to cut out the different shapes. Um, so I make mine out of glass. You can make yours out of the junk mail that comes, magazines you're getting ready to recycle, newspaper, pictures, anything you have, you can get pretty creative with it. Cut them out using the templates and then you can glue or tape them right on to this guide. And for those of you who might not be up to getting the scissors and the glue out, or if you have really little ones at home, I made the pattern also into a coloring sheet because who doesn't love to color, especially now, it's very relaxing. So I'll put both of these up on our website for you to download and enjoy. And whatever you make with them, with your coloring or if you're piecing together your paper gnomes, we want to see them. Send us the pictures. We'll have a contest. The winner will win an Arts and Glass gift certificate for when we open. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. As soon as this comes out of the kiln, I will post pictures and you will actually have a chance to purchase some of the other garden gnome plant stakes that I'm making. Take care and I'll see you guys soon. That's a wrap!